Apocalypse. Good day, Scratch friends. It's me, H.L. Montek, and I'm back to give you another cool Scratch game. This one's pretty darn simple, but also pretty fun, and hopefully it leads you in directions where you can create other epic stuff. Start by starting and creating that new file, and let's name it Soccer. Once you've gotten the soccer type, let's click File and choose Save Now so that we don't lose it. We obviously won't be using this sprite, so you can right-click on it and hit Delete. You can also use the scissors. Let's click on the stage and the backdrops. And since I called it soccer, let's find the soccer backdrop. You can pick either goal one or goal two. They both work for me. I'm actually going to use goal two and choose OK. With that in place, I'm going to click back on backdrop one and I'm going to eliminate it. So for our simple soccer game, we need a soccer ball, and then we're going to simply try and move it at the goal using the arrow keys, and then detect when it crosses the line using a pretty nifty trick. So let's find that soccer ball in the sprites. It's right near the top. Click on it and bring it in. And then from our backpack and our earlier projects, I would like you to find the script that moves with arrow keys. When you bring it up, take a peek and see if this is the one you want. Mine is where it moves to the bottom left corner, negative 120, 120, sets it to half that size, and is controlled by the arrow keys. If you don't have that script, check the links in my descriptions. It'll show you a file that has this script so that you don't have to build it yourself, but also you can take a look at how easy it is to build an arrow key controlling script. It only works when a start message is sent, so let's also bring up from our back pack the when the flag is clicked broadcast start which of course we made the message choice back in the day before we started this project real quickly if i hit that flag now i can move my soccer ball with the arrow keys here's where the fun happens we want it to record a goal when it hits this area the way that i chose to do that is by creating a new sprite I'm going to make that sprite a vector, and I'm going to draw a rectangle. When I draw it on the screen, you'll notice it is not exactly where I want it. And I'm going to switch to the little handles, which make it even easier. I should have done that in the first place. All right, so with these handles, you can simply move it till it matches the post. It takes a little bit of practice to make a movement on the right and check it on the left. But once you get pretty decent at it, it becomes pretty easy to mark the back of that goal. Getting closer and getting closer. And now I've got it pretty much inside that shape. Let's fill it in with a color. I'm going to just do a light gray. And now I've got a place that we can shoot at. Now that it's in place, let's go back to our soccer ball and our scripts. And let's add a script that when it receives start does a forever check which is from the control and then also from control put an if and then put in a sensing and we'll put in the touching but we want it if it's touching sprite one which is our wall let's send the sprite back to x now my favorite way to do this is just disconnect duplicate put the new piece in and then put my old parts back together. So that's kind of like sending him back to a spawn point. And now we can test to see what happens. If we hit the net, you can see it goes back to zero. Want to see how easy it is to keep score? Let's go to data and let's make a new variable called score. And then whenever it touches sprite one, we want to change score by one so it increases the score let's make it even a little more awesome and have it play a sound go to your sounds and find the cheer add it to your system go back to scripts and then you can make it play the sound cheer every time and then we want to have a small pause so that the game can reset so let's wait one second after the cheer plays. 
let's test our game out. Stop and start. Now, whenever I run into the goal, we are keeping score, and we have got the beginning of a basics soccer game. It is that simple. Lots of other things you could do with this, but I just thought I'd give you a clue on how to set it up and get it going from the get-go. Have fun, and whatever you do, make sure you keep coding. Click on Zombie Apocalypse.